Hello guys, welcome. I'm gonna start the stream by taking a look at the gameplay trailer here uh, that has just recently be, uh, been released. Um, putting the volume at like half, I think that's gonna be good. And it's only 1080p, there's no higher resolution on this one, so. Yo, how you doing, Lin? For real, North, Devlis, and Zuta Booman. Everyone, welcome to the stream. Yeah, sorry if I can't mention every one of you. Um, here we go. Let's have a look. Pre-alpha gameplay, alright. Oh, you can drop a Attention all squads. tank. Our troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. We push them back, but not far enough. Oh, grappling hook. We slowed down uh, the... The rockets there are slowing down the, uh, the descension of the tank. The pretty cool. Stop! Watch out! We need to get away from the storm! Ah, that's the attachment function. That was probably arranged for the footage. I don't think that was accurate footage, but okay. Cool. Here's these. tank to respawn anymore in the menu no yeah you can just call it in right all right so a um, couple of things that, get, that needs to be said right away is that one of the things that DICE and EA are keeping consistent is that they're pushing for the epicness they're pushing for this they're they're promoting Battlefield the way you would promote a, a movie. The, these things are epic, sensational, and fantastic. And everyone's going to think so for at least two or three weeks, maybe a month. After that, what we think about the game is going to be based on quality. The first, the first weeks, maybe for, for a couple of months, we're, we're probably all going to be blown away by this. There's going to be... There's going to be all these videos out where somebody does this amazing thing that nobody has seen before. It's going to happen for a few months. If this is a game that lasts, if the quality maintains, that remains to be seen. It does. Um, I think Battlefield 5 was lacking both of these elements, to be honest. Um... This game, it's it's. They have they have they have taken they've taken a lot they've borrowed a lot from from Battlefield Three and Battlefield Four I think they just added a different feel to it. It's a nice copy of Warzone. The, I was thinking I was thinking some Warzone there also. I I did think some Warzone there, but you know, 
it's very like the moment you the moment you say that it's the moment you say it looks like this game or looks like that game it almost always sounds like a bad thing it doesn't have to be a bad thing you know you can't reinvent the wheel over and over again you know there's going to be elements of other games in every new game that comes out nowadays unless they go completely bazonkas with new invention it's not going to happen personally so far i'm sticking to my opinion that this part the ice part now oh, this is the, it's in the beginning of it this wow see almost nothing of it in this video my personal favorite so far in this video is the the ice uh, maps um i don't know why it's just it's, it's complicated too but it, it's those vehicles on the ice it seems like you can um, if you learn it well enough you can do some amazing cool looking stuff with it the wingsuits and all that looks cool also probably really cool the grappling hook yeah you're right when you talk about how um when it comes to when it comes to warzone wasn't there a lead developer that comes from call of duty or that worked with warzone that is now working with with dice and working with 20 battlefield 2022 uh 2042 why couldn't they go with six? It would be so much easier, right? I wait for a few months before buying this one. Let them fix bugs and glitches first. It's the problem. They fix a few bugs and the glitches in the beginning, but... The way I see it... The way I experienced Battlefield 1 and the way I experienced Battlefield 5... Whatever I thought about those two games in beta that's what we got in the gameplay now battlefield 3 battlefield 4 was a completely different story battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 to me was great in beta and then the game came out and it was absolute crap battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 was um battlefield, battlefield 5 and battlefield no battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 gave a very in my opinion, a very accurate beta feel. What you had in beta was that's what you got in the game. That's not what Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 was to me. I, I, I'm sure there's a lot of other people who had a different opinion about that, but uh, the, the beta version of Battlefield 3, uh, Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 was more of a finished version, you know, that's the thing. That looks that looks really cool. I don't know. I've never... You guys probably seen it before. I haven't. And it looks kind of cool how they slow down the descent, or yeah, to make sure that it doesn't take fall damage because the parachute is not going to slow it down far enough. But yeah, Th that's the thing. We we don't know how accurate this is going to be to the uh, to the to the full version of the game, but. Um... I mean, there's there's no denying this looks cool though, and there's no denying the similarities to Battlefield three and four, and um, yeah, they're, they're trying to play it safe to some degrees. They're saying they 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 they're saying they. How did they phrase it? They said that they're they're taking a big leap, or they're they're. They're taking a big risk, or they said that they th there was so much revolutionary with this game, and there is. Um, personally, I, I th this looks like a safe bet to me. I, I think I, I I I see the opposite of what they said. I see this is like. They know that Battlefield Five was a was a mistake. They know that Battlefield Five was a failure, and they're going back to what they know. Is going to work. They can't. They can't gamble again. Even though they made an announcement that sounded completely different, they know they can't gamble again. So, um, yeah, this is this is just classic battlefield, you know. And a few more years have passed, and uh, you know, development have have uh, you know 
done what it does so graphics is a little bit better we add some new features to, to change this on the on the fly yeah yeah I like it initially I like it um, honestly I really like it I'm, I'm very that's one of the things that I am the most positive on being able to adjust your loadout on the fly like this even if it's somewhat limited I, I like it but that, that's you know you know me right I pick up kits all the time I like variety I like to change things up got like uh, 100 service stars with like what 13 weapons by now of course I like variety so th that that's just a personal thing I'm not saying that's good or bad but on, on a personal level that's that's just what I like so yeah a lot of interesting stuff here a lot of interesting stuff here <laughs> 